Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. And in this video, I will be talking about Al Sharpton feud with Donald Trump and more. Let's talk. Now I've done many videos about Donald Trump on the Truth Show. Um, but really, I can't find any of them on my computer. I mean, they were flagged after a certain amount of time, and it was getting popular. You know, they flag anything that gets popular in my video, depending on what it is. So I can't even find them. Um, I'll try, you know, keep looking, and then I'll just try to upload them again and put them on my Patreon account because they don't like me talking about politics on here. Different channels, different rules, you know how all that crap goes. Anyway, so I would try to keep this PG as possible, but considering it's Donald Trump, it's probably going to automatically be flat, which means it may not show up on your feed, people. So just share, 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 share. Okay? Oh, and debate away in the bottom. Be nice. No talking about each other or me. Just debate or in the subject at hand. Okay? No personal text. Just innocent debate, which is what I like. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, now, um, in this video, um, I'm going to talk about this whole feud between Al Sharpton and um, Donald Trump. And, of course, we're going to put Cummings in here as well because he's a part of this feud. So I'm definitely going to put this in here. Anyway, as you may have heard, the racist tweets from him that said, and I quote, I have known Al for 25 years, went to fights with him and Don King, and always got along well. He loved Trump. He would ask me for favors often. Al is a con man, a troublemaker, always looking for a score, just doing his thing. Must have intimidated Comcast slash NBC. Hates whites and cops. Now, first of all, him going to fights with Donald Trump, I can say that part is true. Don King and Al went to many fights together, but that was Donald Trump, just a billionaire whom I guess we all didn't know. So well, apparently, because I didn't have anything against Donald Trump when he was just a billionaire. He was just a billionaire, rich guy. I didn't know all the things that I know now about him, which changed my whole perspective of things. So that's when Al Sharpton made a simple comment saying this. He attacks everybody, but he has a particular venom for blacks and people of color. Now, this coincidentally came after Al Sharpton announced on Twitter that he and former Republican National Committee Chairman Michael Steele would address Trump's bad mouthing of Cummings at a news conference in Baltimore. Now, if you don't know who Elijah Cummings is, here is a brief intro. Elijah Cummings is an American politician and a U.S. Representative of Maryland, 7th Congressional District, serving in his 13th term in the House, having served since 1996. I hope you are acquainted now. Okay. Now, this fight between the two started during the election of 2016, believe it or not, when Trump had painted black neighborhoods as hellscapes from which there was no way out, which is so not true. He states this, you're living in poverty, your schools are no good, you have no jobs. Oh, yes, that's what he said. He, he said this at a rally in Michigan in 2016, trying to corrupt black voters. Uh, okay, anyway. So, and then he went on to say, what the hell do you have to lose? Oh, but there's more. <laughs> it was witnessed like this, sitting together, and this is, you know, the whole um, Cummings and Trump, you know, meeting, supposed, supposedly. So, um, we're going to go into the Oval Office, okay? Sitting there together in the Oval Office that day, Cummings was blunt. The 13th time congressman told the president that his words were insulting. Most black people are doing pretty good, which is so true. However, Trump didn't get defensive or angry. He just listened quietly, taking it in, Cummings be called. And probably nobody has ever told you that, Cummings told the president. You're right. Nobody has ever told me that, Trump replied which probably was just like, I don't really care. <laughs> they then parted on good terms, agreeing to talk more, and that was it as far as anyone else was concerned. I mean, whatever. But soon enough, it all came undone. That summer, Trump would tell reporters that there were very fine people on both sides of the clash between white supremacists and protesters in Charlotte, Virginia, that turned deadly. 
Around that time, Cummings was growing steadily disillusioned with the president. He didn't believe that what he had told Trump early in that year had made any real impression, which I just said. Phone calls between the two stopped. What had looked like a fledging alliance between two men of different parties, backgrounds, and races, a rarity in this political era collapsed. Now that I watch his actions, I don't think it made any difference. Comey's told me after the president's first year in office, he told this reporter this, I thought it had an impact at the moment, but his actions have not shown that. This is also a mirror image of what Kanye had said um, about Trump using him. Now then, this weekend, things took another ugly turn. You know, beginning yesterday and continually today, Trump sent a series of tweets blaming Cummings for property in his district, calling Maryland 7th a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess. Trump wrote that no human beings would want to live there. Neither the White House nor the Cummings office responded to, you know, you know, his uh, request there and his comments and tweets. I mean, they tend to ignore most of them. However, minutes after the tweets, Fox and Friends, though, had aired a report showing trash strewn streets and decaying buildings in the West Baltimore neighborhood that is part of Cummings District. But the real spark may have come Thursday when the House Oversight Committee, chaired by Cummings, voted to subpoena emails and text messages flowing from White House officials on personal accounts outside government systems. A move that can prove embarrassing to the president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, and her husband, Jared Kushner. Both have said through their attorney that they use personal accounts while working in the White House. The New York Times reported, you see where I'm going with this. You see how he started spewing out of control and things of that nature when the House oversaw it and subpoenaed those emails and text messages. This is why he got upset. Let me let me just keep going here and you'll see where I'm going with this, okay? Now, anyway, in his tweets, Trump wrote that Cummings spends all of his time trying to hurt innocent people through oversight. This is what he said after learning that those uh, emails and texts were going to be subpoenaed. He also complained about money going into Cummings district and without presenting any evidence <laughs> that anything was amiss at how much he had stolen. Trump didn't really respond to that. He just throwing the stuff out there. You know, Trump, oh, I'm not done yet. Okay, he went on to say, investigate this corrupt mess immediately. This is what Trump tweeted. Who exactly should launch such an investigation and what precisely should we be investigating is the question. And this is what their question is again saying. Trump did not say. But it hardly matters. The message seemed like a brush back pitch aimed squarely at Cummins. A reminder to Trump as the head of executive branch that includes the Justice and Housing Depart Departments possessing a daunting arsenal of retaliatory powers against many of his opponents. Oh, yes. Taking him down from the roots. This is what they're doing. Okay. Meanwhile, Trump's attacks on Cummings quickly drew criticism that he was once again trafficking and racist stereotypes, what defends the black majority district in Trump's characterization is the poverty of West Baltimore, ignored are landmarks such as the Inner Harbor and the acclaimed Johns Hopkins Hospital. As the Baltimore Sun noted in an editorial published yesterday and many others, this was all a mention, you know, by Trump. Apparently he overlooked that piece of sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... <laughs> Of course, I mentioned by Trump was the district income of 61000 a sum exceeding that of nation as a whole. Cummings, the newspaper also wrote, <sighs> has been a thorn in his president's side. And Mr. Trump sees attacking African-American members of the Congress as good politics, as it both warms the cockles of white supremacists who love him and causes so many of the thoughtful people who don't to scream. I can go on and on and on, but I think you get the freaking picture. Although I'm sure this video will be flagged. I'm not judging, I mean, or choosing sides. Just literally reading articles and bringing public awareness, which is um, my right of freedom of speech. So tell me your thoughts below. I will keep you posted if they allow me to. I mean, they're flagging both my videos here and, and the truth show, which is crazy because my videos don't get anywhere. I mean, they're literally like pathetic. 
I mean, in order for me to get anywhere on this freaking platform, I'm going to have to talk about straight bullshit. You know, like, just piggyback off of other people's channels. Literally, it's how you make it on YouTube. Piggyback off of other people's channels and be fake as hell. I'm an Aquarius. I'm not fake. Okay? Can't be. So anyway, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications for when I upload a video. And also follow me all on my social platforms, the Truth Show and the Truth Show Deluxe channel. And also support my Patreon account. All the links are below. See you all there. I love you all. Bye.